In silence we find reverence. My name is Richard Turner. I'm a poet, author, and a nature photographer. I'm a happy guy, blessed and privileged to be doing these things. In a prior life, for about 40 years, I was a lawyer, representing clients from the famous, a fellow named Ronald Reagan, to uh, infamous people charged with awful crimes. But I grew tired of the conflict of law practice, waking up every day in a war zone, concerned about who's gonna beat me up, who I'm gonna beat up. And a little inner voice spoke up and said to me, there's lots of stuff going on out there in the world. You don't have to spend the rest of your life missing it in a courtroom. So I told my wife I'd be back in a month. I drove east, no plans, no agenda, just drove east. I ended up in the wilderness in Idaho where I had an encounter with a bull moose. Landed a job on a cattle ranch in Montana. And there one day I'm sitting on a log just like I am here and mist rising off this stream in the meadow. And that voice came back to me again and said, you know, life is full of color and adventure and you're missing it. Wake up, don't let the miracle pass you by. So I came home and told my wife I quit and began a seismic change from the practice of law, which I'd planned for and trained in for many, many years, to take up nature photography, a craft I knew nothing about. Many of my friends suggested that I combine my poetry and my photography, so I wrote a book entitled I Can't Always See My Path, but I keep on walking. And the act of writing and producing this book awakened me to the scientific and spiritual truth that we are all connected to all living beings, skunks, warthogs, beetles, whatever. There's a divine thread, in my opinion, that honors this connection. And we humans, blessed with a conscience and the ability to care about our world, have a deep obligation to preserve and protect it. No trees, no humans. It's as simple as that. What can I as one individual do? Here's something that's pretty simple. I'd like to share with you a poem uh, in my book. And it goes like this. I hereby on solemn oath affirm, I bring joy, prosperity, compassion, and beauty to this planet. Every human being has this power. I do, you do. What would it be like if every human being said yes to this power. Well, take the pledge. My work in nature, recording moments of natural history, my art that contributes to healing in hospitals, my attempt to put into words my reverence for life, has convinced me that I'm here for a reason, a worthy reason. Perhaps your purpose and mine is to recognize that we're all in this together and to do everything we can to oppose hate and intolerance and walk the path of loving and caring about all species. I can't always see my path, but I trust my spirit, that inner voice that says, I breathe, therefore I'm worthy. So I keep on walking, I keep on loving, and I hope you do too.